Are you ready to unleash your inner champion? Well, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the EPO mindset, where grit meets determination. Discover how this mindset can transform your approach to everyday challenges, push you beyond your limits, and lead you to victory in every aspect of life. Stay tuned as we break down the EPO mindset, as well as some key principles and some practical tips to help you through all this shit. I'm electric with these things, like I'm so electric. I'm about to do it, I'm putting the work and I sort of I get this. I'm on my ship and I'm sitting in the West. Hey. One thing that you will notice throughout the anime is the persistence that Epo has throughout whatever he does. I mean, first of all, we can see it in both the Kamigawa buddies that he has at the gym, as well as the actual how he actually progresses through all these fights and everything like that. Even during boxing matches, we can see how persistent he starts becoming. And again, this is one of the first keys into the Epo mindset. We also see Epo's persistence as early as episode 2 when he's training to get into Kamigawa Gym. Now we can see throughout the episode that his body's starting to get weak. You know, he's training after school, nights, days, helping his mom. But he still just keeps going because he believes that whatever he can do can land that spot at the gym. Of course, the homie did it and he got into the freaking gym. How can we apply this to ourselves right now? Well, in the very same episode, we actually get to see one way that Ipo keeps his mind persistent on things. And in this way, he actually is very grateful or celebrates very minuscule milestones. We see this when Ipo catches his first leaf. He celebrates for a second, but he still keeps going. It was a sign that he was getting stronger, he was getting more agile, but it also pushed him that he can keep going further. The second key in the EPO mindset is to surround yourself with the correct people. Having a more positive influence around you definitely improves the way that you work. We see this throughout the series where all of his buddies actually help him out throughout different areas in boxing. I mean, the most impertinent scene that I can recall to memory is when EPO fights Sendo for the second time. EPO gets knocked down. And all of a sudden you're seeing these images of his friends and you have this beautiful scene kind of similar to like naruto where all of his friends are like pushing him up instead of him knocking down he gets right back up on his feet this is actually the infamous dempsey roll scene that we get to see in the anime and for sure having the right people around you definitely will change and mold you into a better person it's one of those keys where it you're in total control of who you can bring around your life. This is definitely one of those keys that you definitely have 100% control over. The third and final key in mastering the EPO mindset is working on your mental acuity or mental strength. To much of people chagrin, mental strength is very important. It separates the weak from the strong. Having a strong mentality means the ability to take every hit, every setback, every mistake all your errors whatever and turning it into a more positive or more great or even just a stepping stone to continue forward but you're like yo buddy faker how do i do this well this all works throughout something that no one will ever tell you online except for me it's called self-compassion self-compassion is the process of being kind and understanding for yourself when you experience challenges, setbacks, mistakes, or just feeling inadequate, it's about showing yourself love and laughing at those mistakes, seeing it for a more positive light. Just like when Titus was showing Yuna that he is not afraid of the future. Remember the scene from Final Fantasy X? I think that's exactly what he's trying to show y'all. Okay, I get it, it looks cringy. Yo, yo, this shit looks stupid as fuck. This thing looks funny, man. Oh man, it works. Self-compassion works because it turns your mind from thinking about something super negatively and turning it to be more positive. It can even motivate you to changes like in Hajime no Ippo. We see in the road back arc when Ippo gets knocked out and loses one of his first matches, we see that he still comes back because he still cares for himself. Just like most people, he starts questioning himself. Am I inadequate? Why did I lose? Did my punches not hit? 
then we start seeing all these things about him changing his mindset. People starting to come around him. Then we see that he's able to get back and actually become Japan's top boxer. I get it. That's a spoiler. Y'all need to watch it for real. And I get it. So why are you talking about an anime? A really old anime? Well, I'll lay it down for y'all. In 2024, you guys are aware if you've subscribed to me for a very long time that... And the reason why I haven't been uploading recently is because I've been in a rut. I personally just didn't want to upload videos and it was sad because I loved making YouTube videos. Granted, it was Yu-Gi-Oh! but now it's fitness. And I think for me personally, it was showing myself that self-love and self-compassion. Watching Ipo struggle with things, watching him come from being the bullied to being the strongest boxer in the world. And honestly, I saw myself. I saw my my face in those moments with Epo. I saw I was in those events with him. I was fighting those trials and tribulations. And without this anime, without you know working on myself, without the self compassion, I wouldn't be where I am today. And. I, Maybe I needed someone to come up. Maybe I needed something else. Maybe I needed this tragic event to happen to change myself. But how I see it is without an anime or something like this, or even people around me, I wouldn't be where I am today. If there's one thing that you want to take away from this video, it's this. Don't ruin your life, man, <laughs> or woman. I don't know. <laughs> Love yourself. Give yourself compassion. Find people to confide in because things are just going to be easier. I would play a specific song, but it's going to be copyrighted. So I'm just going to, I don't know. <laughs> Here's a non-copyrighted version of that song. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good one. Peace.